live from KSAT 12. Good morning, San Antonio starts right now. We are so excited. So later on today, the HB Plaza here at the Alamo Dome is going to be filled with all kinds of great sights, sounds, smells, excitement of Fiesta. Yes, we are excited about that. Uh, we're starting at 72 degrees. I'm not sure your mic's on. Oh. Yeah, things uh, look kind of like they did yesterday. Not as much mist, but it is very muggy again out there today. And Mike has us on storm alert for the next couple of days. And good morning to you, everybody. It's finally here, Thursday, April 18th. What that means it is the first day of Fiesta here in San Antonio. Yes, happy Fiesta. We're so excited about that, uh, just as the interview said earlier. And yeah, it kicks off today with Fiesta Fiesta. All right, so a lot of this hinges on the weather. A lot of folks are going to participate rain or shine, but Mike Ostrage joins us now live with more on that. Well, it's, uh, you know, a lot of people keep thinking back to last year, Fiesta Fiesta, which was there at Travis Park, and we got going, and then... Yeah. Yes. had to stop things because there was a, a lightning alert. It was in the, the area, and then all of a sudden the heavens opened up. So it was a torrential, people, wasn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. yeah, it yeah. Was, it was, I mean, it was coming down in barrels. But so the thought, you know, yes, there are going to be some storms around here, but it's looking good as far as Fiesta Fiesta is concerned right. that most of those will be staying up to the north. But yes, we are still under storm alert as far as folks in the hill country. First of all, this morning. Now, this picture has actually improved a little bit. You can see the cameras are slightly out of focus there, but we can actually see the interchange and see some of the, the traffic there over at 10 at at 410 visibility at the airport is still two and a half miles mile and three quarters Casterville uh, fog there at Port SA and then going up 10 going up 35 as well but like I said in places it has improved slightly that doesn't mean we're getting rid of it all we'll still have some some damp roads some mist and drizzle hanging around here 72 in town 70s in the hill country we are once again averaging 15 degrees above normal all the allergens are low. Look at that oak is down to 40. I think we're finally done with the oak season around here, which is good news. Temperatures aren't going to move that much this morning, as is usually the case when you have all this humidity and clouds and some fog and mist and drizzle and everything. We make it up to 80 at noon, already at the normal high, then we top off at 88. Now, yes, we will see some sunshine. That's not necessarily a good thing because that's just going to add to the hot, steamy factor. We're going to be seeing heat index readings well up into the 90s. Plus, this is going to help make the atmosphere more volatile. So there is the threat for some of the storms to become strong to severe tonight. But again, the majority of those, and as it's looking at everything throughout the evening hours, is going to be up in the hill country. Going to show you the computer models coming up in just a couple of minutes, and then talk about the good rain chances this weekend. Details in just a couple of minutes. Traffic Authority, RJ, we started off an hour ago, and it was a mess out there. What's it was, up? Mike. Now, fortunately, things have started to clear up, so uh, give credit to our tech stock crews and emergency officials. Getting a couple of major accidents cleared out uh, right before our six o'clock hour. So if you're about to step outside right now, things are looking pretty good for the most part. A couple little things to let you know about. We'll get to that here in a second here. Loop 410 and New Braunfels traffic moving pretty smooth that area. 281 at the quarry north and southbound. 281 looking pretty good in that area there as well. A couple of stalled vehicles let you know about on the east side of town right now. So I was trying to figure out where this stall was. It's actually off of uh, I-10. It's at uh, Upland and East Houston. So you see a little bit of build up there. Our traffic traffic there uh, for folks in that area and then also a stalled vehicle I-10 westbound at WW White Road. So uh, you can see based on our traffic maps not causing too many delays at the moment. So that's good news out there for our drivers on the east side. But you may run into that if you're headed around the Frost Bank Center area. The rest of the city again, everything is looking pretty good. We cleared out that major crash there that was at 90 at 35. Also another crash we have cleared out 151 and 410. So for the most part, traffic moving along pretty well. Uh, we've been talking a lot about Fiesta and here right there. Look at our trans guide shot here 37 at the Alamo Dome that will be the scene of Fiesta Fiesta and of course with Fiesta Fiesta and of course Fiesta in general kicking off it's important to remember to celebrate safely even before you head to the party and that includes making sure that you have a sober ride home our Avery Everett shares the message from two families who lost loved ones to drunk drivers been really hard for Ulyssa Valero's family some days are better than others but we miss her every day has been hard to bear since her death. She had a big heart. She would help everybody. She was hit and killed by a drunk driver three months ago. Now her family is hoping her story will stop people from drinking and driving during Fiesta. It's scary because we know a lot of drinking goes on. And they're not alone. In 2016, myself and my family were hit head on by a drunk driver. Aziza Salama lost her fiance in that crash. 
In our city, this is a huge problem. Now, she helps run San Antonio's Free Riders program. It's a program that brings together more than a dozen bars. Their owners all pledge to provide free rides to prevent impaired driving. So if someone sees a sticker like this in the bathroom, what are the next steps? Uh, just, it's as simple as just walking up to the bartender manager asking, hey, you know what, I think I've had too much to, draw, uh, to drink. Can, can I get a ride home? She wants this to be a solution for anyone who may have had one too many. We want to be preventive. We don't want to be reactive. So much of Fiesta is celebrated on the streets of San Antonio, but construction across the city is causing even more concerns when it comes to drinking and driving. We really want to challenge people to make sure that they have a sober ride home. You can take somebody's life like the way Ulisa's life was taken. It was just so unexpected and it, it, it's hard. As traffic starts to flow in for Fiesta, these families are urging San Antonio to celebrate with safety top of mind. Anything can happen. People traveling to and from Fiesta events over the next week can cash in on a rideshare discount. We have that code for Uber on KSAT.com. Avery Everett, KSAT 12 News. New this morning, a fire spread quickly to home overnight on the far west side, and now the family who lives there will need a place to stay. It happened at home on Shanefield Road at Loop 1604 just before midnight. Firefighters found a garage fire at the scene that eventually spread upstairs to the attic of that home. There's about $200,000 worth of damage. A lighter note happening today. The Party with a Purpose officially kicks off with Fiesta Fiesta. This year it's happening at the Alamo Dome at the HEB Plaza. You also might remember last year Fiesta Fiesta was rained out, but we are expecting to stay clear this afternoon. And coming up in our 630 half hour, we'll hear from Patty Santos live over at the Dome before the big day really gets going. And Fiesta is a great opportunity to add some colorful flair to your outfit and even home decor. We dress for yeah. the occasion today. We have our, our pinks on today, so if you're looking for Fiesta-themed items, Goodwill is a good place to go. It has been collecting items throughout the year, and now... They have declared their West Commerce location as Goodwill Fiesta Central. So they have everything from clothing to flower crowns to home goods and much more. We know that people are on a budget, you know, always. And you want to save that money for your celebrations, for your, your chicken legs or whatever you're going to purchase at Fiesta events. So come to Goodwill, get started right with some budget pricing on your clothes. By the way, when you shop with Goodwill, you are also giving back to the nonprofit's efforts of helping those with disadvantages. Well, KSAT has a chance for everyone to enjoy a special party at Battle Flowers and Fiesta Flambeau Parade. Scan one of these QR codes to purchase tickets. The tickets include assigned seating along the route, food, drink, and a chance to hang out with some of the KSAT family. And while you're at it, you can also sign up to be a KSAT insider to be the first to get access to special events like this in the future. And over the next 10 days, there are so many Fiesta events happening all over town. Tomorrow, April 19th, is the start of Fiesta Oyster Bake. Then on Monday, April 22nd, is the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. And Tuesday, April 23rd, kicks off Night in Old San Antonio, better known as Nyosa. Wednesday, April 24th, is KSAT's Know My Neighborhood. And yes, this month we focus on downtown. Very appropriate there. And Friday, of course, April 26th, is the Battle of Flowers Parade. Yay! Mark and I will be over there. And Saturday, April 27th, that's a lot of stuff going on there in that day as well. So it's King William Fair in the morning in the parade and ending with the Fiesta Flambeau Night Parade. You can expect KSET to bring live coverage of all these events and more. If you're new to San Antonio or you happen to be visiting in the next week or so, buckle up. And KSAT has you covered. Right now, 608, 72 degrees. Well, after the break, tubers on the San Marcos River will be asked to keep it clean this summer. How a new can ban could cost you money if you're not paying attention. KSAT Metal Days are back. You can grab a free KSAT Metal at various locations. We have a brand new spot for you this morning, and we'll tell you about that coming up a little bit later on right here on GMSA. Stick around for that. Welcome back. 612, you're planning on floating on the San, uh, San Marcos River, rather, a whole different river. Make sure you bring the right drink containers this summer. Well, in two weeks, the city's can ban will go into effect, and Angela Shin with KTBC in Austin has what you need to know. Starting May 1st, only reusable containers will be allowed on the river in San Marcos. The city says the goal is to keep trash out of the river. That 
right what's behind us. That meaning the San Marcos River, drawing Kenny Mudd and Steve Grayley to visit almost weekly from San Antonio. The year-round temperature, the cleanliness of the water, and actually the attitude of most of the people here are fantastic. A can ban will go into effect in two weeks. I think it's wonderful. I really do. Uh, now if they only figured out a way to control the people here, it would be better. <laughs> that can ban, I think, going to be upsetting to some of the people, but it's going to be good for the environment. City Council passed the ordinance in February. We're not the party police. We want you to come out and have a good, cost-effective, fun time with your family out here. We just want you to help us keep these parks clean, help keep the river pristine. Disposable containers like aluminum cans, plastic and styrofoam cups won't be allowed on the river and river boundary. That's a no zone. They will be allowed in spots not along the river, like at picnic tables. Those are go zones. Each person can have a cooler that's less than 30 quarts. If people violate the can ban, they'll be educated about the rules first. But if they don't comply, they could get a citation ranging from $250 to $500. Visitors now more aware of what to bring in the future. I would come ready and prepared with probably a larger one of these. Mun and Grayley have even helped clean the river. We're the type of people who will take the time to pick stuff up and we shouldn't have to police everybody else. And the city hopes a can ban will help keep the water clean for generations to come. You come out here with your kids, we want the parks to be beautiful. We want the river to be beautiful for your kids when they come when they're older. You pack it in, pack it out. And if you're not sure if you're in a go zone or a no zone, we'll have a link on our website to a map so you can check. In San Marcos, Angela Shen, Fox 7 Austin News. Thank you, Angela. Now let's go ahead and take a look back with traffic uh, the, from the cameras here. Looks okay, RJ. Yeah, guys, uh, a couple of things going on right now at the moment as we take a quick look here at TransGuide traffic cameras. 281 at the quarry, traffic moving pretty smooth in both directions right there. See, we get one more. 281 Loop 410, same situation as well. But uh, we are hearing about some police activity taking place on the northwest side. This is going to be off of uh, Fredericksburg and the medical area, Wurzbach area, Hebner area. Right now, police are saying uh, to stay away from that area. So we will continue to follow and get more details on this. Uh, our crew is actually headed to this scene and again we will continue to gather more information but right now there is a active police activity in this area so police asking that you stay away from that Fredericksburg medical Hebner area at the moment uh, the as far as traffic is concerned right now we still have these stalled vehicles I-10 westbound WW White Road and we have stall in Upland at uh, East Houston as well okay Fiesta guys want to mention this before uh, we get a little bit busier onto our six o'clock hour of course Fiesta Fiesta is kicking off today and uh, that's going to be at the HEB Plaza right there at the Alamo Dome. We also have Fiesta Carnival taking place. So a couple of city parking garages that uh, you're being advised to take or use if you're headed down to Fiesta Fiesta. That would be the Martinez lot right there, Salperas at Cesar Chavez, the Alamo lot on South Alamo and of course the Convention Center garage. Those are all city owned lots. So if you need to find parking, you're headed out to Fiesta Fiesta today kicking off at four o'clock. Go ahead and try and use those if possible. If you need more, just Ask RJ. Uh, <laughs> very familiar guy. Yes. Yes, definitely. I'll be there ushering people. No, not really. Oh. <laughs> we have you on speed dial. Yes. Yeah. What, what you got over there? I got a Fiesta medal, Mike. All right. Yay. Why you asked? Very nice. That looks it looks nice. good. It's the official case at Fiesta medal. All right. We're going to have giveaway details coming mm -hmm. up a little bit yes. later on in this newscast. <laughs> they try to move camera one around yeah. here yeah, and get a shot. This is the first time many oh, of us have seen. Yeah. I was going to say, that's why I wanted to bring metal. it up to the that's, desk. That's, yeah. that's, that's nice. Yeah. It's nice. Uh, very colorful. Got yeah. a lot of flowers in there. Of course, Aww. representing uh, case at 12 in Fiesta. Very, very good nice. Times. Very good. Yeah. I know. <laughs> and get and of course, part. the weather medal. <laughs> Take it. Oh, has, yeah. Yeah. It, I like how you're <laughs> keeping that from him. So it's, I, I guess we call it, what, Beauties and the Beasts or, you know, Sarah Mia and the Three Stooges or something like that. So anyway. <laughs> Whatever well, works. The picture of the five of us on. Well, <laughs> yeah. the, anyway. The girls are up front and center, I think, in the medal, right? Mm -hmm. as, as should be. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right. This morning, hot, humid, and mist, some fog out there, reduced visibility. We're going to show you those in a moment. Take your time because the roads are kind of damp. And then later on today, Hot and steamy, 88, plenty of humidity, and then it's going to be later on this evening, especially in northern parts of the hill country, where we'll start to see some uh, rain. But as far as Fiesta Fiesta is concerned, yeah, keep my fingers crossed, everything's looking pretty good. 
talk about a regal looking dog. Wow. He just, he, he just looks like a, a gentleman <laughs> in his in his fiesta. Well, outfit, he looks so. he looks proud of his fiesta but, outfit. But yeah, I mean, just you know, chin is up, and he, he's <laughs> looking very dapper. Right, Mark? Very cute. Uh, I used to have a dog named Bailey too. I, I think Aww. it's adorable. No, oh. adorable. But look, I mean, he's, he's posing. Dap, I love that picture. So, thank you very much for the KZ Connect shot. All right, uh, this picture from when we started an hour and a half ago has definitely improved. I mean, you can still see it's misty, drizzly out there, but at least we can see the intersection. So the fog is not quite as thick over there on the northwest side of town. Visibility is still two and a half miles, San Antonio up to New Braunfels. And then a little thicker heading up toward Bernie, a lot thicker heading over toward Castroville. At one point, it was down to less than a mile visibility over there in Castroville. So we'll continue going back and forth with these visibilities uh, throughout the course of the morning. Yesterday, cloud cover kept us at 82 degrees, but we were upper 80s and even low to mid 90s along the, the Rio Grande. And today, look at that, 98 Eagle Pass. Same thing, Laredo, 93 in Pleasanton and upper 80s, even low 90s all around the metropolitan area and add in the humidity around here. And with that heat and humidity, the sunshine, that's adding to the volatility of the atmosphere. So there is the this uh, kind of uh, mustard shade, if you will, is a one on a scale of one to five. And then that's been bumped up in the hill country as far as the threat for severe weather. So the atmosphere is very volatile, but the odds of rain are not that great. That's if anything does happen to pop up. Here's this computer model, and I'm just checking out a couple other latest runs on some other ones, and they're pretty much in agreement. Showers, sprinkles around here this morning, clouds throughout the late morning hours, then we see more sunshine today. Then these storms get going up there to the north, but that's almost toward the end of Fiesta Fiesta and still looking good around here. But we will have some of those potentially strong to severe storms up there in portions of the hill country. So as it's looking right now, confidence is there that we're not going to have a repeat of last year where it got rained out. Now jump ahead to Saturday. Tomorrow, by the way, for, for oysters bake for Alamo Heights night. Everything looks fantastic. Saturday is going to start off OK, but the rain is going to continue to work its way in here throughout the afternoon and then Saturday night into early Sunday morning. We'll have some showers. Then things are going to somewhat clear on. I mean, we'll still have a few clouds left over here, but we are going to be seeing drier, cooler air come in for the latter part of the weekend in behind this front that moves through on Saturday. So hot, humid today, not as hot tomorrow. 76 on Saturday, rain and maybe even some heavy downpours, especially north of San Antonio, and then looks great on Sunday as far as temperatures. The humidity drops down. Same thing on Monday. It's going to be great for the uh, river parade on Monday. Then it's going to start to get a little hotter and steamier toward the middle part of next week. Did you repurpose Easter eggs or are those bona fide cascarones? Those are the cascarones. Nice. Yes. yes. Okay. Fiesta cascarones. All there right. you go. I made the mistake and because those two symbols are next to each other right. on the menu and it's like, <laughs> eh, well, well, it, maybe this, you saved your Easter eggs. Yeah. Hopefully you clean them out from Easter, but. Yeah, yeah. Yes. For sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. 621, 72 degrees. Let's look out there with live cam right now. A little humid out there, um, but when that sun comes out, it's going to be a little warmer, but still fingers crossed for no rain on Fiesta Fiesta today. There it is. That feeling you get when you can do more with less asthma. It starts with Dupixent. Dupixent is not for sudden breathing problems. It's an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma and can help improve lung function for better breathing in as little as two weeks. Dupixent helps prevent asthma attacks and can even reduce or eliminate oral steroids. Can you picture it? Dupixent can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Get help right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about newer worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Who knows what you can do when you do more with less asthma? Ask your doctor about Dupixent, the most prescribed biologic for asthma. Faces of Fiesta is powered by your local San Antonio area Chevy dealers. The Fiesta art is certainly not foreign for David Durbin. The San Antonio native has been making medals for Monarch Trophy Studios for more than 40 years. For decades, Fiesta royalty, San Antonio businesses, even KSAT has gone to David for his custom designs. 
I'm known for my David Durbin swirls. Pretty much anybody can tell my artwork from the motion. My designs are hand-drawn, and so I have this swirl that I put into my stuff, and that's my signature there. This year, his creativity is not only adorned on likely every sash, hat, or cape, but showcased on the official Fiesta poster itself, drawing inspiration from the remnants of the Battle of Flowers and Flambeau parades. It was at the end, and we're walking down the street, and there's confetti everywhere, and I'm thinking, there's got to be something. And so I've held that in, and I do so many metal designs, but I've held on to this one. And I just have always thought, the folklorical dancer whipping her dress up and the dress falling to confetti over the city and just showing the passion that we have for Fiesta. I've been part of Fiesta for many, many years now and it just makes me so happy to have done this now. outside with live cam very humid out there right now 73 degrees we're hoping a shower or storm holds off till later in the day as we kick off fiesta 2024. hi good morning happy fiesta it is thursday april 18th lots going on in our city coming up starting today and meteorologist mike ostrage is here with more on our fiesta forecast that sounds Nice to say, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. it sure does. And seeing that big sign right behind y'all, yeah. Fiesta, yeah. Fiesta. Of course, a lot of folks, you know, keep uh, <laughs> keep thinking about last year when it started off just fine, and then all of a sudden those storms moved in, it got washed out. But things are looking very promising this year. So it is going to be hot and humid, that's for sure. Uh, the visibility is still down out there somewhat at the airport, but it in places it has improved slightly. 72 degrees, still basically 15 above normal and dew point at 71. When those numbers are neck and neck, that means we have relative humidity is well up in the upper 90s. Little or no wind out there, so that's what's helping out with the, the fog. Three miles out at the airport now, mile and three quarters Castroville. The numbers really haven't changed that much. We're still going to be having some fog around throughout the rest of the morning. Mist, a little bit of drizzle out there, and again, it is warm and humid. Just get ready when you step outside. Only a 260s on the map right now. These are low temperatures that we would normally see. The average low temperature again mid July. Everything is on the low side as far as allergens are concerned. Looks like oak is finally coming to an end. And today, partly cloudy, so we will see sunshine. That's going to add to obviously the heat and humidity, but it's also adding to the fact that the atmosphere is very unstable. Now, there will be some storms, but even though the atmosphere is unstable and if anything popped, it could get strong to severe. It's looking right now like uh, only up in the hill country is where we're going to see showers and thunderstorms tonight. So as far as Fiesta, Fiesta is concerned, right now odds are very much in our favor that it remains rain feet. Just really, really sticky. So you get a Costco run broken on you and it's all the, you know, it'll, it'll stick to you. Plenty of clouds around tomorrow. Not as hot though. So it'll be more pleasant for Oyster Bay, for Alamo Heights night tomorrow night. Then we get into Saturday and we'll start off a couple of showers here and there, but rain's definitely going to start to pick up as the day rolls on on Saturday. And that's going to continue on into Saturday night, early Sunday. Maybe some heavy rain, especially north of San Antonio. After that, we have a front move through, drier air. And as we've been talking about the past couple of days, Sunday afternoon, Temperature humidity wise looks great and that's going to be the situation for Monday for the river parade and still maybe even a little bit on the coolish side by Monday evening. More on the forecast coming up in just a couple of minutes. Traffic authority, a lot of big problems earlier. What's going on now? Yeah, Mike, so we've cleared out a lot of our major crashes earlier, but do want to give you an update here real quick. We are asking, or at least San Antonio police are asking right now to avoid this uh, medical drive area on the near northwest side here uh, because uh, they are conducting uh, some sort of investigation at the time right now. So they're asking people to avoid the Louis Pasteur drive area, the medical drive area, some police activity taking place in this area, the medical center area. So we do have a crew headed to that scene and we will get uh, more information as it becomes available to us. But again, keep in mind, if you are going up Fredericksburg Road right now off of I-10, uh, we do have police activity and police scene there at the moment. All right, major crash to let you know about. Now this is all the way out in Kerrville, so uh, not uh, affecting any, anything near San Antonio at the moment, but there was an 18-wheeler rollover over there at mile marker 512 in 
I-10 East at Kerrville. You can see right now that traffic is at an absolute standstill at the moment right now. Uh, again, I-10 East in Kerrville, mile marker 512. So they are diverting traffic in um, I-10 eastbound traffic at uh, mile marker 508. And I did make a quick map here just to show you an indication of what we're looking at right now. So again, 18 wheeler rollover crash. I-10 eastbound is blocked at mile marker 512. We just saw that camera. It is very already basically traffic not getting through that area. Traffic diverted at mile marker 508. We will continue to follow the very latest there. Do you have a stalled vehicle? Let you know about amongst all these other things going on. Uh, this is going to be loop 410 eastbound at Evers Road. And you do see some buildup here for all of our folks coming in from the Bandera Road area. This is the biggest thing we're following here in terms of traffic, of course, not in the city of San Antonio area, but we will continue to follow the very latest, give you more updates as we get them. Mark and 70. Back to you guys. Thank you, RJ. See you in a bit. Well, San Antonio, it is time to party. The kickoff to Fiesta 2024 is just a few hours away. That's right. And this year it is at the Alamo Dome. And our Penny Santos has got a first look at the setup this morning. Later today, ATB Plaza here at the Alamo Dome is going to be filled with people, food, and color. The opening ceremony starts at 4 p.m. and goes until 11 a.m. There are just 11 days of Fiesta event, and this is just day one. This year, the Fiesta Commission decided to give the kickoff a new vibe. We've been working hard with the Alamo Dome all year. We really wanted to enhance our relationship with the Alamo Dome in the city to bring a brand new Fiesta Fiesta experience to the city of San Antonio. Here hosting it at the Alamo Dome at the H&B Plaza. We're looking forward to it. It's one of the big changes for Fiesta this year, and we can't wait to get started. Admission is free, and for those who are new to San Antonio and you're wondering what the, is this Fiesta party all about, is about helping fundraise for one 100 plus local nonprofits. To find out more about the events, the cost, and uh, locations, you can head to KSAT.com. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. All right, thank you, Patty. How would you like to ride in a Fiesta Parade? Scan the QR code here and tell us what you love about the Battle of Flowers Parade to enter for a chance to ride on a float and show us your shoes. A kind of a Fiesta tradition here. The Battle of Flowers Parade coming up on Friday, April 26th. KSAT has a chance for you to enjoy a special party at Battle of Flowers and Fiesta Flambeau. Scan one of these QR codes to purchase tickets. The tickets also include a signed seating along the parade route, prime seating, food, drinks, and a chance to hang out with some of our KSAT family. While you're at it, you can also sign up to be a KSAT insider to be the first to get access to special KSAT events like these in the future. And mark your calendars. There's another big event to prepare for after Fiesta. The Texas Eats Food Festival is happening on Saturday, May 11th at Smoke Barbecue east of downtown. You can scan that QR code on your screen for ticket information and to see the full lineup of James Beard nominated chefs. Happening today, SeaWorld San Antonio looking for help and it's holding a job fair to fill tons of positions, we are told. The park is looking for full and part-time employees. The job fair is scheduled from 3 to 7 p.m. both today and tomorrow and from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday at the SeaWorld Human Resources Center. If you are interested, apply ahead of time before you go. We have a link to help you out with that on KSAT.com. And before we go to break, high school sophomore Elizabeth Leachman is Bernie Champion's distance running prodigy. And she's right there with the best of the best in the world of track right now. As KSAP 12 Sports' Mary Rominger shows us, the 16-year-old was responsible for several national records and looks to carry that momentum into UIL regionals this coming weekend. When Bernie Champions Elizabeth Leachman steps foot on the track, there's a shift in energy. She's a once in a lifetime athlete and wise beyond her years. I'm usually flipping the lights on at 545 in the morning. She's already here running, uh, so she's relentless in her effort. Leachman is a bona fide gold medal magnet and her epic solo run to break the national high school 5k record last month inched her closer to qualifying for the U.S. Olympic trials. Qualifying for the trials would definitely be an honor and it would be amazing if that opportunity came up but UIL season is kind of my focus right now. At 16 years old Leachman is the whole package. She's an exceptional student and athlete and has stayed grounded under the spotlight. My parents will tell almost anyone, you know, if I don't want to do this in college, 
I'm not going to do this in college. That really helps knowing that I'm the one choosing to be here every day. Early injuries have challenged Leachman, but her use of cross training has helped her ease her way back into full form. Eventually the times followed just with my health returning, I think, but yeah, I mean, it definitely was great because it was a big risk to take for me and it was definitely scary. And Leachman's story is really just beginning. Her goal right now is to qualify for state in her trio of events at regionals this weekend. From Bernie, Mary Rominger, KSAT 12 Sports, back to you. 638, 73 degrees. Well, KSET Metal Days are back and we have a brand new location for you to visit this morning and we will reveal that location coming up next on GMSA. Good morning and welcome back. Start a fiesta finally here, but before we get there, it's time for today's KSAT Fiesta Metal Giveaway. Okay, we've been telling you about it all morning and it's at the Conviva Care Center at Marbuck Road and Military Drive West. That's on the city's west side, just uh, inside Loop 410. The line starts forming in just a few minutes at 7 a.m., so head over. All right, Viva Fiesta, everybody. Hey, on a serious note, uh, a little bit earlier in the newscast, RJ was telling about some police activity that has affected traffic in the medical center. Uh, we just got a uh, very quick update from KSAT's Patty Santos, who is uh, out there headed towards the scene. Yeah, she is headed there now, so let's go ahead and check back with RJ to see about the road. Well, well, real quick, well, this is where we were going to mention that SWAT is heading to the scene of a barricaded subject. That's all the information we have at this time. RJ. Yeah, guys, and again, trying to gather a little bit more details as Patty and uh, Santiago make it out there. But again, we do know that this is an active police scene, Fredericksburg Road near the medical center area. So right now, police are asking everyone to avoid this area by Wurzbach if you're coming up from the Callahan area and also coming in from the data point area as well. So again, active police scene here, Fredericksburg Road near Medical Center and we are gathering more information on uh, what we what's going on out there. And again, as Mark just mentioned there, we do have, uh, you know, SWAT obviously is responding to this and we do have a crew that is already getting to the scene and gathering more details. But again, if you are headed out near Northwest side, just make sure to steer clear of that area. Other big thing that we are following here, not in the city of San Antonio city limits or basically not in really Bear County at all. Uh, I-10 eastbound at Kerrville here. We have a major crash in 18 wheeler roller has shut down all main lanes of I-10 East out there at mile marker 512. So right now traffic is being diverted off to 508. Uh, that's going to be the mile marker in that area. So again, a lot of things taking place at the moment right now. And uh, I think we're going to go ahead and toss this back to Mark and Stephanie. Yeah, thank you, RJ. We do want to get to that late breaking news on the northwest side. If you're just now joining us, San Antonio police are on the scene of a shooting situation. There is a heavy police presence at this developing scene. Our Patty Santos just got to that scene at Fredericksburg Road near the medical center. And Patty, what can you tell us? Yeah, we are uh, on Fredericksburg Road. The road right next to me, Chambers Road, is closed, so all, all of the traffic is heading uh, northbound. It's being redirected southbound, but this is the scene right back here. You're seeing a, a Studio 6 motel here. Uh, it is, uh, my understanding is that the apartment complex that police uh, are looking at the suspect in is right behind that um, that motel right now but what's important for our viewers right now is that if you take Fredericksburg Road on your way into the medical center uh, you're going to want to avoid this area as you can see this vehicle right Whoa. now uh, trying to get past uh, they officers were, they were going to drive right by uh, but, Patty yeah, yeah. And I mean, we see the flashing lights here, but there's also flashing lights right behind us at Chambers Road where the uh, traffic light is. So a lot of people, I don't, I'm not sure how this got through, but from the southbound, um, from the northbound, there's also some closures. Louis Pasteur, which connects to Pasteur Court, uh, Pasteur Court is closed. So you're going to see some traffic in that area as well. Looks like they were actually headed to this um, scene so that they were let through. But again, this is the scene that we're looking at right now. Very limited information. We know they have a barricaded suspect behind an apartment complex. They're asking people to stay inside, people that live in this area to stay inside their homes. We're going to stay here and bring you more information as we get it from San Antonio Police. We'll get it, send it back to you. All right, Patty, thank you very much. Very possible. Some of the vehicles we saw going by could be uh, yes. plainclothes police headed to the scene. So uh, we'll keep you updated. Yes, we will.
All right, it is warm and humid out there. We've got some fog. Take a look out there at the airport. Visibility has, well, at least in this picture, gotten a little bit better. Roads are damp this morning. Uh, mile and a quarter there at Castroville. Bernie at three. Same thing at the airport and two and a half in New Braunfels. So we'll be dealing with some of this mist, some of this fog throughout the rest of the morning. Later on today, Storm Prediction Center does have the risk for severe storms. Now, this includes the slight risk, the, the one on a scale of one to five. Uh, San Antonio up the I-35 core all the way over toward Gonzales, and that gets bumped up in the hill country. So the atmosphere is volatile. If anything were to pop, could become severe. However, the best place to see any rain, though, and it looks like most of these storms will be confined up to the north. So here's as we go in through the afternoon hours. We still have a few clouds left over here, but then we see more sunshine today. Just going to add to the, the heat and humidity factor out there. Then we go into this evening and notice how it stays dry. And this is pretty much what a lot of computer models are in agreement on. They, they all look basically like this and that we don't have any rain around here. Now, there is still that outside chance, but as of right now, everything stays up there to the north and some of those may become again strong to potentially severe later on this evening. Obviously, this is going to be something we have to really keep a close eye on, but it's looking like it's in our favor that we won't have a repeat of last year at Fiesta Fiesta when it got rained out. Now, as far as jumping on into the weekend, and this is what is would be the total over the course of the weekend, primarily on Saturday as far as rainfall, because we're looking at potentially the heavier rain being up here to the north. Saturday in the afternoon, the rain is going to start to, to commence, to pick up, and then it will continue on in through the evening hours and overnight into Sunday. But up to the north is where the majority of that rain, obviously a couple of heavier pockets here and there, but that's where most of it is going to be. So that's a good thing as far as just to the north of San Antonio is where a lot of the, the worst drought still remains. Here's what the upper level winds look like right now. We've got everything cool air up to the north of us. We've got this, you know, the heat around here, these little disturbances sliding on through. That's going to be the situation today. Tomorrow, not bad. Now, Saturday is when we get this disturbance coming on through here. That's what's going to slide by, give us a chance for some rain. Then notice this little bit of a northwesterly flow in the atmosphere. That's what's bringing in the very nice weather for Sunday as well as going into Monday. So Monday still looks great. Hot and humid today. It's going to be a steamy one. 88 degrees. It'll feel like the low 90s and some of those storms up to the north. Nice tomorrow, down a little bit as far as temperatures. Alamo Heights night for uh, the oyster bake as well. Rain on Saturday, especially in the afternoon, overnight, and then lower temperatures, lower humidity for Sunday, Monday. Good for the river parade, and then it starts to heat back up middle of next week. We are going to wrap things up and get an update from Patty Santos coming up after this. This morning, if you're headed to the Medical Center via Fredericksburg Road, you're going to want to reroute. This is what's happening right now on Fredericksburg Road near Louis Pasteur. San Antonio police tell us they have a barricaded suspect right behind this Motel 6 that you see right next to us. Uh, our understanding is right now the SWAT team is on its way to deal with the situation. This started just over an hour ago, but uh, San Antonio police have closed off a portion of Fredericksburg Road as a safety precaution. Earlier reports indicated uh, that uh, there was some shooting in the area, and this is why they are asking people that live in the apartments near this area to stay indoors, to use a lot of caution, and to stay away from where police are handling this situation right now. Again, this is the scene of a SWAT standoff, a barricaded suspect near Fredericksburg Road and Louis Pasteur, and this is going to cause a lot of traffic, uh, a lot of headaches for people as they drive into the medical center, which is very busy. But we're going to stay here and bring you more updates and let you know when the road reopens. We'll send it back to you. Patty, thank you so much. We'll continue to follow that developing story. Back outside with live cam. See how things are looking out there right now. The sun's coming up. It's very humid. The dew point and the humidity and everything is really close together. So, you know, the air is super saturated. And right now, KSAT.com, a Lavernia resident, now the proud owner of a $7.5 million after winning one of those scratch-off wow. games. The winning ticket was sold at a Shell Mart off Highway 87. By the way, those scratch-offs, the one that they want from, they're $100 a piece. Oh, my goodness. Yep. You can read more about it on KSAT.com. Wow.
And today on GMSA at 9, Brahma's head coach Wade Phillips will be joining us. We have a lot to talk about. We sure do. They just lost their starting quarterback for the season, and the team suffered just the first loss of the season this past weekend. But they're going to redeem themselves Saturday against the Michigan Panthers. So tune in for that conversation today on GMSA at 9. We've been telling you about it this morning, and time again to reveal the location of today's KSAT Fiesta Metal Giveaway. It's a Conviva Care Center at Marbach and Military Drive West on the west side just inside loop 410 line starts for me in just a few minutes at seven o'clock and i imagine there are already a few folks out there right now viva fiesta yeah viva fiesta time now 654 Ooh, looks like a a little bit of a mess there in i-10 let's check back with rj way yeah. out in kerrville right rj kerrville yes and uh, real quick guys just one more reminder the police have shut down a part of fredericksburg road here at uh, callahan and louis pasteur and medical center so a lot of folks obviously go up to usaa using fredericksburg that is shut down at the moment we will continue to gather more details from what is going on out there you guys mentioned I-10 eastbound right now in Kerrville, that is a, a parking lot. There was an 18-wheeler rollover crash that happened uh, about 30 minutes ago or so. So right now, mile marker 512 is shut down. Traffic being diverted off to 508. So if you have folks up in Kerrville, let them know about this major mess there. I-10 east, uh, east at mile marker 512. Mike. And you can see kind of the well, cloudy, hazy, murky conditions out there. And that's the situation out by the airport. And we do have some damp roads. Visibility really hasn't changed that much in the past about, uh, say, half hour, 45 minutes or so. I like the little Fiesta music in the background there. <laughs> Three miles out there. Flavor. Yes, indeed. A uh, mile and a quarter visibility caster. We'll begin with some of this fog and a little bit of uh, mist drizzle throughout the rest of the morning. Very, very warm temperatures. We're a good 15 degrees above normal. It's going to be steamy today. 88 degrees. With all that humidity, it's going to feel more like the low to mid 90s. A couple of storms up to the north. Fiesta, Fiesta. Bank and is going to go off without a hitch. So. As far as the weather is concerned, not a repeat of, of last year. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Well, have fun at Fiesta Fiesta. We'll see it. Come say hi. Fiona and I are going to be down there. So. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. See you back here at 9.